Hey everybody, and welcome back to another lecture with Coding with Roby. And in this lecture, we're going to update our todos.py file to get all of the todos by a single user. And then we're going to update our home.html file to now display the todos based on that specific user. And we're going to be hard coding the user ID before querying the database. However, authentication and authorization will be added later into the web application. So let's start by opening up our todos.py file. And immediately we're going to see some imports um, that might be dull, that say they're not getting used. Ignore those for right now. And of course, the from database import engine session logo with the red lines. That's not really a bug because the sys.path.append is fixing that. So just ignore all of the imports for now. Let's scroll down until we can see our read all by user. As of right now, our read all by user is just redirecting back to our home.html file with a context of just request request that doesn't really do much right now. The first thing we need to add is before the return templates.template response, we need to query the database. So to do this, as a parameter, we need to pass in our dependency of our DB. We can do this by saying db colon session equals depends get db. And now within the function, let's now create a new variable called to do's, which is going to be querying the database and getting all of the to do's based on a specific user. And for this example, we're going to be using user one, which is my coding with Roby profile. So let's start by saying to do's equals db.query models.to do's dot filter models dot to do's dot owner ID is equal to one. dot all which is going to retrieve all to do's based on the user id of one and then we're going to return our templates dot template response to our home.html but we're going to add in one more context of to do's colon to do's after request so now we're just going to be able to pass in a jinja variable of to do's that's going to hold all of the data of to do's variable from our python script Let's now jump back into our home.html file. And inside our home.html file, we're going to enhance our table to now display all of the to do's based on that specific user. So to start, let's remove all of our to do's except for one. And now right before our TR or our table row of class pointer, but within our table body, let's do bracket bracket 2% signs for to do in to do's. And then after our TR, let's create our end for. And now remember, we're going to be using one bracket with a percent sign because this is a conditional or an operator. And to use the actual variable of to do now, we need to use a double bracket. I'm going to start by removing this ID. And inside the TD, I'm going to remove take out the trash and do bracket bracket to do dot title. So for each to do in to do's, we're going to recreate this TR table row. And based on how many to do's are connected with the user ID of one is exactly how many to do's we're going to create. And each time this is getting created, we're going to print the title of that specific to do. And now something that we also want to do is enhance this delete button. We don't actually want to delete on this page. So let's change this to edit. 
And then our class is going to be button info. And at the beginning of button, we're going to say on click. And on click means redirect or call the API that we created. And here we're going to say on click equals double quotation marks window.location.href. equals single quotation marks of edit to do slash to do ID within double brackets. Let's save the application and open up our slash to do's to see what it looks like. We can see that our application is running correctly. And again, our complete buttons don't do anything. However, our edit buttons are going to redirect to our let's edit your to do with the correct ID displaying for that specific to do. Now we don't have any of this getting populated right now, but being able to pass in the ID from the to do is the first step. And now one more thing I'm seeing is this over here, our numbers are always one. And that's because we have a hard coded two one within our first table data. Now to be able to fix this, we have to call the loops index and not just pass in a number or the ID. To do this, let's type in bracket bracket loop dot index. If we save the application now and go back and we refresh, we're going to now see that that's going to increment to the next to do. So we have a proper numbering structure. This wraps up being able to call all of your to do's based on a specific user ID and then populate it on your home.html page using scripts and templating for a Jinja application. This wraps up everything for this lecture and I will see you in the next video.